Shalom, everyone. This is Dr. Durr. I want to talk to you about don't get it twisted. When I was over in Christianity, serving Christianity for players sold out, dedicated, and committed to, committed to the things of Christianity, many people said I was uh, too sold out or I was just too headstrong in what I believed. Now that I'm over here as a Hebrew or what we call Abraham or Abraham, or what we call Abram Yasharel, which is Hebrew Israelites per se, in the Hebrew language, Yash, Abram Yasharel. I'm over here serving with the same fervor and the same fire, probably with a little bit more fire because I realize and now I comprehend the truth. I realize that the Messiah uh, name was not Jesus, it was Yahusha, the actual Hebrew name. There is no letter J in the Hebrew. So those of you that wanna fuss, that wanna fight, go look at the Hebrew wording the Hebrew alphabet, bet, and you will not find a letter J in the Hebrew. Now, argue with that. You go dig in for yourself and research it for yourself. I'm not talking about that now. I'm about to go into something that, that's important. Now, while I was over in Christianity, studying it, seeking uh, 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 the things of uh, Christianity, trying to be enlightened, I realized that everyone in Christianity were not on one accord. You had Baptists, you had Methodists, you had uh Southern Baptist, you had Fundamental Baptist, you had uh, uh, Nazarite, you had Nazarene, you had Midianites, you had the uh, uh, Catholic, you had uh, uh, Amish, you had all of these different religions. Then you also had Jehovah Witness, you also had people like the Muslims. You got all these different religions, different people all over the world. But I'm, I want to stick with what we call Christianity. Listen, and in Christianity, we were all over the place. So many different beliefs. There were people, charismatics, and, and people would not even get along. Watch this. Based off because, because someone didn't believe like they believe, even in Christianity. Don't get it twisted. What do I mean? Now that we come over here and we found out that we are Israelites, and what we like to use, add the word Hebrew Israelites, Avri Yasharel, which is the Hebrew word, Avri Hebrew, Yasharel, Israelite, we find out that we're Israel. Now that we're over here, we're realizing that, guess what? We all are not alike either. There's a lot of people out here now that are professing to be Hebrew Israelites and they're making a mockery of this awakening. You want to watch a good video? Watch Watchman Yahoo and Deborah Yahoo's video on the Tarnish Awakening. That video brings a lot of insight and a lot of light into how we are yet in the awakening process. And Yah is waking up his people with the scripture said that we would wake up in the land of our captivity and come to know his name and come to know who we are as his people. Now, I'm excited about this waking up. I'm excited about being awoken. But at the same time, the people that are out there on the street corners, not every one of them, but a majority of them are giving people a bad rap. They're talking about the women, calling them women names. They call them the B word. They call them the, uh, the W word, the whores and the, and the, the, the B word. They call them all kind of names, saying that they were rape women, saying that they were abused by women. How dare them devils of hell putting on the skies of being a Hebrew Israelite, talking of that nature. You see, you've never seen Yahushua act in that manner. It, to let you know that the awakening uh, 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 is not is not tarnished, but it can be tarnished, and the tarnishment uh, tarnishment of it is happening. Don't get me wrong, but Yah would not let it falter. He would not let it fail. He would not let it go down because we are going to be awakened. We are going to get into the right standing and in the right place as Yah's people. Because when the second Exodus happened, we are going to get out of here. Yes, the rebels will come. But Yah will do the separating between the sheep and the goats. So I'm not st stressing about that. I just want to do right right now while I'm awakened in the land of our captivity. Now, you have to understand that the enemy is always going to try to mess up that w which Yah is putting in place. This awakening is a great thing. This awakening is happening worldwide. No matter what people say, people are calling us a cult. They calling us everything. But watch this now. In Christianity, they celebrate Christmas. We don't. They celebrate Easter, celebrating the bunny rabbit and the egg. If you look at the history of that bunny rabbit and the egg, it deals with the goddess Ishtar. We don't do that. They celebrate a lot of other things. Halloween, calling it all a, a, a fall festival, even in the church, dressing up as characters. We don't do that. We're not with all the pagan holidays, but Christianity is with all the pagan holidays, and they get mad at us because we're standing against that 
uh, uh, foul and uh, 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 abomination against the Torah, against Yah's word. Listen, I don't hate no one or anyone in Christianity. I came out of Christianity. How did I come out of Christianity? Because I made up my mind when I saw that we were Yah's people, according to the Bible, I realized that we were lied to all these years, and that right there was enough for me to come up out of a lie. Hear me. His name is Yahusha Hamashiach. That's his real name. That's the, that's the son's name that came in the volume of the book, that, that a body that was prepared for him. And the father's name is Yahuwah, who sent his son, the father and the son, the father and the son to redeem mankind back to him by the way of the Ruach Hakadesh, which is his precious set-apart spirit. Listen, I'm not here to argue with folks, make people believe what I believe. I'm here to tell you there's a different group that has awakened, and y'all has awakened us. We believe in the Bible, the totality of the Bible. We believe in nothing but the truth, the absolute whole truth. We believe in the power of Yah. We believe in the love of Yah. We believe in the greatness and the grace of Yah. We believe, excuse me, that this awakening is from Yah. And this awakening is not to be tarnished like these devils are causing the awakening to be tarnished. But it won't work. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us shall be condemned. For this is the heritage of the servants of Yah. And their righteousness is of me, said Yahuwah. I'm here today to tell you, yes, there's many different things, religious uh, uh, religious uh, mishaps over there in Christianity, many different ways of belief over there in Christianity, and there are going to be many different ways of beliefs over here at the Hebrew Israelite awakening. You know why? Because man is putting their hands on it. Man's are, men are putting their two cents in it. Men are adding to stuff that y'all never said. When you awaken, the Bible says you will know them by their fruit. If Yahushua never acted that way, want to rape women, want to abuse women, want to dog women out, call them by name, what in the world are they doing it for? Remember the woman in the Bible that came, Yahushua said, and people that commit, uh, 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 said that this woman was caught in adultery? Remember they only bought the woman to the, to the Messiah? What happened? The woman came to the Messiah. Messiah looked at everyone around them. He went down and began to draw on the sand and said, Ye that's without sin, please cast the first stone. And everybody, the Bible said, and everyone of them start dropping the stones and walking away. I believe, this means my spiritual insight, I believe he start writing their names down the sand. Bob, Ted, I'm just naming some names. I know they're not Hebrew names. I'm just throwing stuff out there. Just, just follow the revelation. I believe he began to write their names in that sand. And that man that she had slept with wrote his name. Because they didn't call the man. They only called the woman. And when, the, when uh, Mashiach got finished with them, they dropped the stones and walked away. And what did he tell that woman? Go and sin no more. Your sins have been forgiven. Now, if the Mashiach is saying go and sin no more, who are these people that call women out of their names? To do all this evil stuff, this wicked stuff, that's not of Yah. That's not Yah's spirit. Yah has a pure spirit. He said, they that worship me must do it in spirit and in truth. There's love. There should be love abiding with Yah's people. We should have a love for one another. We should pray for one another. You know better than me. I'm no better than you. We should be praying one another, one, one another. I'm glad that I'm awakened. I'm glad that you are awakening. Don't get it twisted. I don't care what these boys are preaching on the street. I'm going to preach the truth the way Yah showed me. I'm going to teach the truth. I'm going to teach it in spirit and truth. And I'm going to do it the way he showed me to do it. How to keep his people on the straight and narrow. You need practical living after you find out who you are. Find out the color you are. Find out who you are as a people. Now you need to start practicing this holy word. And stay around people that believe just like you. If you know those people are, 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 are off. They're not standing for the truth, the way the truth should be taught. Do not listen to them. Stop acting as though you have to listen to people. And no, let me let every one of you people know. I never forget a guy asked me in Christianity, so you a Hebrew Israelite? I said, but I'm not like those people on the street that you see. That's not me. That's not my family. We don't believe like that. We're not out there cursing everybody out. We're not out there uh, uh, saying that we're going to get vengeance on folks. Yah is the one that's going to get their vengeance. Vengeance is mine, said y'all, I will repay. However he going to pay them, let him pay them. And some of you saying that you want to see the day of y'all. The Bible says that you don't want to see that day even yourself as y'all's chosen people. 
That ain't the day you want to see. None of us want to see that day. That's a day. Of, that's a scary day. No, I want to see y'all in the beauty of his holiness. I want to see y'all when he tell me, son, come on, let's go. Let me train you in this wilderness. Let me get you uh, to who I am, uh, give to you again a pure language. Begin to train you, put my Torah in your heart and in your mind. That's where I want to be. So we give y'all the glory. We give y'all the praise. Don't get it twisted.